Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Be Energized. For today's video, I wanted to discuss the top five electric vehicles you should be aware of for 2020 and 2021. We have some exciting electric cars that we're gonna be talking about today. Before I begin, I just wanna say, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel using the subscribe button below. It helps my growth and I definitely appreciate every subscriber. Thank you very much. Anyways, let's get started talking about these exciting electric cars. So the first one on my list is from BMW. This is the BMW i4. This is going to be their all electric sedan that is gonna be coming out sometime in 2021. And they're saying that this vehicle is going to be a direct competitor to the Tesla Model 3 in both size, performance, and specs, and so forth. Not much have been announced regarding the i4. However, I'm assuming that news is gonna be coming out anytime now with more information. They're stating an estimated over 300 miles of full electric driving range, which is pretty impressive. Uh, a charging time using a DC fast charger of adding 60 miles per six minutes, which is actually pretty good. Uh, if they can achieve that, I think that that's very exciting. Uh, it's gonna have a beautiful four door coupe style. Uh, it's gonna be very similar to some of the Grand Coupes that we see from BMW, like the six series Grand Coupe, the four series Grand Coupe and so forth. So the i4 is going to be a very beautiful vehicle. The only thing is, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed, is that BMW can keep the price in a reasonable level. They're estimating that the i4 is going to be about $70,000 starting. And if that's the case, it's not necessarily a Model 3 competitor for that price. So I'm really hoping that we can see that price come down, but it is a BMW, so you can expect the luxury and the performance and handling from a BMW. Uh, but I'm excited. And also, this is not on my top five list for these vehicles, but they're also working on a fully electric SUV that should be coming out sometime next year called the iNext. Uh, so I'm assuming that all these i vehicles are going to have very similar styling and very similar uh, performance and so forth, just in different body styles. But we'll have to wait and see. It's coming up. So on to number two, and now I think that this is pretty fitting that it's number two because it actually has a two in its name. This is the Polestar 2. Now this is a fully electric vehicle coming from the Polestar company, which is an entity of Volvo. So it's pretty exciting to see that these cars are coming out. And now this car is estimated to come out in July of 2020 here in the United States and also making a global launch. So it's pretty exciting that this is going to be a global vehicle. Uh, price starts just under $60,000. Uh, you still get a $7,500 federal tax credit because Volvo has not reached that point yet of the 200,000 max uh, when it comes to the federal tax credit. And what's really cool about this vehicle is that it gets 275 miles on a full charge. Very impressive. The interior was designed to be focused around the driver. Uh, it was actually designed in tandem with Google regarding user experience and so forth with the touchscreen and the center infor um, information cluster for the driver. Uh, so it's very user friendly, very high tech, and it's just an exciting product. And I'm excited for the Polestar too. My favorite thing about this vehicle has to be the headlight design. They're calling it pixelated headlights or pixel headlights. And what that means is that each headlight cluster has 84 L LEDs. And what these are is that it works just like ad adaptable headlights, but the one LED can turn off independent of the others to either brighten the road or make it uh, less bright, just depending if there was a driver coming head on. Obviously with Pol uh, Polestar being a entity of Volvo, safety is a focus for the Polestar brand. So it's just pretty cool that this technology is coming out. So let's keep it in the Swedish family for number three. The next vehicle that I'm really excited about, and I think you guys should be as well, is the Volvo XC40 Recharge. Now this is a fully electric version of the very popular Volvo XC40 compact SUV. So what's so exciting about this is that they're taking the platform that they designed from the ground up to be adaptable with other powertrains. And the fact that this is going to be an all electric SUV, I think is just going to sell very well here in the United States. Estimated delivery time is sometime in the fall of 2020. I know that they're taking reservations on their website, so it's pretty exciting. Definitely go check it out. It looks exactly like the gas powered version, except for some design changes. Uh, estimated range is going to be over 200 miles. 
uh, which is pretty common in this class. Uh, estimated price is probably going to be starting in $50,000 in 50, or in that range. However, Volvo has not hit the federal tax credit limit, so you could possibly get the $7,500 tax credit, uh, as well as local incentives and same incentives. So it's pretty nice that the price could come down to be very comparable to other SUVs in that area. Uh, I love the Volvo XC40. I have followed the concept since 2016 and before, and the fact that they've made the production vehicle look exactly like the concept is just so exciting to me. Uh, so this is one vehicle I'm very excited about, and I definitely think you guys should do some more research on it because it could be a very viable competitor to some of these other electric crossovers in this price range that is coming out, that are coming out. Okay, on to number four. Number four is a company that I have been excited about for a very long time. This is a company called Rivian. And if you have not heard of Rivian, you definitely should be doing some research on them. They're a pretty cool company. They have investors backing them up, such as something you may have heard, Amazon, uh, as well as Ford and Cox Automotive. So they are a very well-backed company that is working to make an all-electric pickup truck and an all-electric SUV. And now the coin or the term that they've coined is actually a, a venture electric vehicles. So it's pretty exciting that Rivian is designing cars and electric vehicles to be used for outdoor purposes, for ruggedness, for going out, um, you know, off-roading and so forth. So the two cars that I want to talk, and yes, I know that this kind of adds up more than five now because I talked about the iNex previously, uh, <laughs> but these are the two cars Rivian are, is coming out with. It's the R1T, which is their pickup truck, and the R1S, which is a full-size SUV that can sit up to eight passengers. Their estimating range to be over 400 miles uh, horsepower figures, which is 750 horsepower, zero to 60 time in under four seconds. It has a feature called tank turn, where if you're in the wild and you're off-roading, your vehicle can literally turn on a dime uh, using this feature. So it's so cool what they're coming out with. Um, sadly, just due to recent circumstances, they are delaying production and delivery to sometime in 2021 when they were trying to start delivery in 2020, but it will be here before we know it. And I definitely think that these vehicles are something worth waiting for. They look very special and I know a lot of people are waiting for these. So definitely check out the Rivians. They're taking reservations with a thousand dollars deposit that is fully refundable, but definitely check them out. They're really cool. And last but not least, this vehicle actually, I believe is the most controversial vehicle on our list today. And this is the Ford Mustang Mach-E. This is an all electric crossover that Ford unveiled back in November of 2019. And this is a vehicle that they have been uh, pretty much working on for years now. And the reason it's controversial is that a lot of people don't feel like this car should have the Mustang name and logo on it, which I understand, but with electric vehicles, as we know, are high performance, you get the instant torque, and I think anything that is Mustang inspired should have a name that gives off performance, hence Mustang Mach-E. So what's really exciting about this vehicle is that it is a compact SUV. It has this beautiful interior that's very modern. It has a sound bar along the um, front dashboard. It has this big, massive touchscreen that pretty much controls everything in the vehicle and so forth. Um, estimated range is over 200 miles, and the top vehicle can actually get close to 300 miles or more, depending on your driving style. So it's pretty exciting. Um, they are expecting deliveries to start at the end End of 2020. Uh, the first edition pre-reservations uh, pre have actually all been full, uh, so you will have to pre-order some of the other trim levels, um, but there's some exciting colors, designs, rims, and so forth. Um, me personally, I'm very excited about the Mach-E. I definitely think that it has a lot to offer in terms of being a compact crossover uh, SUV or electric vehicle. Uh, the fact that you get all the practicality of an SUV with the performance of a Mustang is just really cool for me. Uh, and the fact that it doesn't burn a single drop of gas is even cooler. So I'm personally excited about the Mach-E and I'm excited to see where Ford goes with their other electric vehicles, but we should be seeing the Mach-E hit the roads sometime in late 2020. So. Let's get excited for that. Anyways, guys, that's going to be my top five electric vehicles that I'm personally excited for for 2020 and 2021. 
If you agree with my list or disagree with my list, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to learn what you're looking forward to uh, up with this upcoming year as well as next year when it comes to electric vehicles. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm excited to be coming out with new content and uh, some exciting more educational uh, related electric vehicle videos. But anyways, guys, Thank you again. Make sure you make every single day electrifying and I hope you guys are taking care and staying safe. See you guys.